Hey guys, welcome back to another quick how-to. So today, I'll be teaching you how to use Notion for school. So this tutorial will help you to keep up with your assignments, classes, and notes, and making having all of the organized in one place. So first, make sure to open your web browser and then go to notion.so and then log into your account. Now you can see here the new page, so you just have to click on it. And here we are going to title this one as the student dashboard. Okay, so after that, you will then just have to click on enter and here you just have to type out the slash key on your keyboard and then go for gallery view. Okay, now click on the select a data source and then click on the new database. Okay, so here we are going to title this one as classes. Okay, and then here we have to delete all of these pages right here so we just click on it and cl click on delete and here just click on the new button so here we are going to title this one right here as math okay so here and before anything else let's add an icon and a cover for this section right here so just click on add icon and let's search for the icon math okay so let's use the plus icon Okay, and then we can now add a cover. So we just click on the add cover. And then you can change the cover and upload your own file. So here you just click on it and then click on upload. And then click on upload file and you'll be redirected to your folder. Okay, so just locate the cover that you want to use. So I think it's here. So let's go to this folder right here. And then just have to open it and then click on that cover and then click on open so we just have to wait for a few seconds until the upload process is complete now let's go to the section right here so you just have to remove this or delete this one and here in the created you just have to delete this one as well now let's just add a new and for the text we can now add here the professor's name or the course code okay so let's do that in here you can do that as well so just select the text and then you can retitle this one as a name of the professor okay so right here you can put the name of the professor okay so make sure that the spelling is correct now let's go to add property and here we are going to use the files and media since we are going to use this here to upload our syllabus okay so just write it down and after editing everything right here we can now see the difference so you, you can now save this one and then go back to your main page okay so right here now you just have to click on this three dots and then click on the layout for this one and then select the card preview and then here you can just click on the page cover to display the cover that we have uploaded now we have now the gallery view for this one and as you can see the cover is visible now let's go ahead below this folder right here and now we are going to create a calendar for our assignment so you just have to click on the space button or enter button of your keyboard and after that just type out calendar okay so this would be your calendar view right here and then click on the new database okay and then let's retitle this one as assignments okay so this section right here is we are going to create the date for the assignments okay and then click on the three dots and then hide the name of this one and then you just have to rename this one as calendar okay and then click on enter so now just select a date to add a assignment so let's say we're going to add an assignment right here so let's retitle this one as assignments at the top of the calendar okay now let's go back here and here we are going to create the date of the deadline so just click on this one and just have to rename this a, let me retitle this as a deadline right here okay and then just have to click on enter and here just have to delete this section 
So I just click on delete property and then click on delete. So now we can now add a new property. So let us use the formula for this one right here. So just click on it and you can rename this one as the days left. Okay, then you can change the icon for this one and then search for timer. Okay. Okay, this one and then click on enter. Now we can add a new property again. And right here, we are just going to use the property, which is the status, the track the status of the assignment. So we have options right here, and that started and progress and done. Then just click on enter after that. And now you can now add a new property. And then right here, you just have to type out for this property. So let us use the property relation. Okay. So now you are going to relate your classes right here. So you just have to click on the classes. Okay. And then make sure to toggle the switch on, which is the show on classes to make the section right here visible. And then just click on the add relation button. Okay. So this one right here. And right here, let us change the icon for this one. So we can use a book for this. So let's use this icon. And then you can now click on enter. Okay, so now you can see the classes. You just have to click on it and then select the math folder. Okay, so this class is math. And then you can add a days left and for the deadline and for the status. So let us put a math assignment for this one right here and then you can now select or exit the section now you just have to click on this three dots options i mean the six dots options right here beside the calendar okay and then you just have to click on copy link okay now you just have to go ahead and click on this new button right here and then click on new template so here we are going to create a link view in the class page template so we choose the board layout and group by status so to do that we just have to title this one as a new class okay that's correct and then after typing out the new class you can now go ahead and paste the link below the add a comment section Okay, so you just have to click on the control plus V keys on your keyboard and you'll be able to. And now you just have to click on the create link view app database. So here it is. And now you just have to click on the calendar and then click on layout. Okay, this one and then choose the board layout right here. So this one. Now you'd be able to see the difference. And then after that, you just have to scroll down just a little bit until you can see the group by status option. So you just have to click on it. Okay, so just click on the group by status option and then click on the status option. So this one right here at the bottom. Okay, now that you have done that, you can now exit this section right here. And then you can now click on the filter. The purpose of adding the class filter is to show only the assignments for this class and also toggle to show the date and the days left of the properties. Okay, so right here, let's uh, just click on the mat option for this one. Okay, this one is correct. Now just click on the three that's right here. And then when you scroll down, you'd be able to see here the properties. So make sure that you have enabled the visibility of the class, the days left, and the deadline. So it's up to you what kind of property do you want to show to your class. Okay. Or what do you want to show to yourself when you open this section right here. So you just have to explore these options right here. So you'd be able to know what you're going to show. Okay, so let's enable this one right here. So shown in board, we have the name and the class and let's include this one right here. 
Okay, we have shown three options. I mean, to the class and the deadline only. So, you know, all of those is visible right here. Now, just click on the further option right here at the top. Okay, so click on it. So, you can see that if we filter this, we'll be able to see the class mask. And if we click on the filter again, it will remove the class mat visibility. So let us now proceed to the next process. Let us add a new filter right here to organize our calendar. So we just have to click on the add filter option. And then select the status option. Okay. Now you'll be able to select the status of that. So we just click on this is at the top and then click on the is not. Okay. And then after that, you'll be able to select one of these properties right here. The status is not. So status is not completed yet. And here you'll be able to see the hidden groups for this. So in progress and done. Now we can filter that out to have an organized section. Okay, so now just click on the three dots right here and then if you don't have anything to edit you just have to exit this one so now let us click on the math assignment section to see the details of this assignment so when you click on it you'll be able to see the class the days left if you have put any and after that you'll be able to see also the deadline and the status for this one and all of the related section on your class okay so now let's proceed to adding important notes to this assignment so we just click on space and then you can add a heading okay let us add a section right here which is the table view okay so now just click on the new database or add a new database okay this one and then right here, we just have to title this one as notes. Okay, so you can hide this title if you want to. So we'll just click on the three dots and then click on hide database. And then after that, you just have to click on the three dots right here. And then click on the layout for this. And then choose the this section right here. Then make sure to toggle this show vertical lines off. Okay, and then right here at the top. We can title this one as notes so we can use the header by clicking on shift plus the number sign so you should be typing out shift and a tree number sign and then click on space to save your heading okay so just like this so this is for heading tree and then type out notes so after that just have to select this one right here and then select delete property and now you can use the plus icon right here and then make sure to use the select property for this one and then you just have to retitle this one as topic so here under this section you can type out all of the topics of your notes Okay, so just select a topic for this one. And then we just have to adjust the size of this. So we just head on to the plus icon after that. So let me just adjust this topic section first. Okay, after that, you can now click on this plus icon again. And then at the top, you can use the status property okay so you're going to track the status of i mean for this topic and then you can retitle this one as mastery okay and then you can also change the icon of the section right here if you want so for choices for the mastery you can change this one as well so you just have to click on the default option and you can change the color for the in progress option it can change this section so we just click on this arrow right here and then you can change the title of this one okay so we just click on the plus icon at the top and right here let's type out hard and then normal okay so you can change the color of this depending to the difficulty 
of the topic. Okay, so let's use red for normal. I mean, that is for blue. Okay, so for the hard, let's use red. And for the normal, yeah, let's use the color blue. And for the in progress, maybe we can just delete this one since I won't be needing this. Okay, so we have now two choices for the mastery. Let us click on this plus icon again after adjusting the size of the first section. Okay, so let's click on the plus icon and right here, we are going to use the date property. So you just have to use the search bar and then you just have to type out date and then select the date option. Now I just have to select the format for this. I mean, just going to change the title and then type out last review day. So it will help you to track the day of when was the last time you have review. Okay, now click on the plus icon again. And then in the section right here, we are going to use the formula property. Okay, and then just have to click on the title and let us change this to days left or days ago well, maybe days ago would do okay and then let us change the icon for this one as a timer maybe okay then after that you just have to click on the formula and then I can just type out the code that you want here so since I don't need it that much I would just leave it so let me just show you how to create a date so just click on the box below the date section and here you can select the date for that okay for the last review day and then for the days ago you can type out the codes you'd be able to type out here the date for that now just click on the plus icon again and then right here, we are going to use the files and media formula. So in this section, we are going to upload our materials. So let us retitle this one as materials. Okay, that's correct. And then after that, you just have to save it. And then you can now close this section right here. Now for the last one, you just have to click on the plus icon again. And adjust the section. So... Just click on the plus icon since we are going to create a new one for the URL. So just click on the URL right here. And then you can also enable to show the full URL. Okay, so it will be up to you. So for me, I think it's better to show the full URL for this section. So therefore, you just have to click on or toggle this switch on right here. And then you can now click on enter okay so right here let us now add a name for the topic so you just have to click on the new and then you can type out here the title for that specific topic so maybe 1.0 and it would be for multiplication and division so just type out the title okay this yes it's just fine and then after that in this section you'll be able to upload the materials you just have to click on the empty and then here you can upload and choose a file or embed a link so after that you'll be able to see the topic so you can select an option or create one right here and for the url when you click on the empty option you'll be able to paste the url of the topic right here but you can add more property right here if you want to be more specific for this topic. So for now, these are the basics that you need to know in order for you to use the Notion for school. So you can create a calendar, a notes, and of course a folder to be specific with the work that you are going to finish. So right here, you can add a new title. Okay, so as long as you have the access for this account, you'll be able to track your progress. Okay, for the mastery, we can create this one right here. And then if you want to share this to anyone, you just have to click on the share button at the top. And then you can copy the link. Now, to edit the privacy for this, just have to click on the invite only and then just click on the anyone with link. And then all of the people who has the link for this notion 
they'll be able to access this template or this work okay so you can also publish this one to a website if you want to okay so here is a summary of the work that we have created so basically if you know all of the basics so you'd be able to create a student dashboard that will help you to track your work or your school works okay so that's a wrap don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more quick how-to videos next time adios